Hi friends, welcome back to Learn with Krishna Sandeep channel. In today's video, we'll be diving into a classic programming challenge generating the Fibonacci sequence in Java. Whether you are a beginner or just brushing up on your skills, this tutorial is for you. So let's get started. Okay, first we'll try to understand what is a Fibonacci series and then we'll write a code. I'm just creating a class for Fibonacci. Okay, so now let's understand what is a Fibonacci series. So the Fibonacci sequence is series of numbers. Okay, series of numbers where each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, usually starting with 0 and 1. So the sequence goes like this 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, for example, 0, 1. So what is the sum of these two? 1 plus 0, 1. What is the sum of 1 plus 1? 2. 2 plus 1? 3. 3 plus 2? 5. 5 plus 3? 8. Okay. So the Fibonacci series is each number is sum of two previous or the two preceding ones. Now let's write a program. Okay. Now let's write a Java program to generate this sequence. First we have defined our class. And then we will write a main method. So I'm just creating a main method. So this is the main method. And here int n equal to 10. Just uh, this will display the number of terms to display. That means number of terms means number of numbers that we need to display as part of the series. We are limiting it to 10 and int first number equal to 0 int second number equal to 1 system dot out dot println Fibonacci series till n I'm just giving here okay till n terms so for int i equal to 0 i less than or equal to n plus plus i system dot out dot print first what we are going to do is we are going to display first number okay first i am writing the program i will explain the program detail step by step after this int next term equal to So here it is for int i equal to 1, i less than or equal to n plus plus i into next term equal to first term plus first number plus second number. Okay. So first number equal to second number second number equal to next term 
our next number for second uh, first number where is this next term yeah second number equal to next term first first what we have done in next term equal to first number plus second number first number equal to second number second number equal to next term okay now let me explain the program so first what we have defined we have defined a class fibonacci and then we have a main method which is an entry point for any java application and then we declared int n equal to 10 so we declared an integer n which represent the number of terms which we want to display in the fibonacci sequence for example we have to print a fibonacci series with 10 numbers so that 10 here we are declaring and initializing here we set it to 10 but we can change this value to display more or lesser terms or lesser numbers so first we initialize two integers so first num equal to inter, okay uh, first num equal to 0 second num equal to 1 so these are the first two terms of the Fibonacci sequence. These are the first two terms, first num and second num. Next, we'll print a message to indicate that we are going to display the Fibonacci series up to n terms. So this line is helpful to display or print in the console that we are printing Fibonacci series up to n terms. Next, for int i equal to 1, i less than or equal to n, plus plus i so now we use a for loop to iterate n times we use for loop to iterate n times next inside the loop what we are doing we are printing the first num and then int next term equal to first number plus second number so we calculate the next term by adding the first number and second number for example 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 so the next term will be 1 okay here next term will become i'm just writing here next term will become 1 and then first number equal to second number okay now first number will become here as part of this line first number will become first number will become second number what is the second number here 1 so now we are initializing first number to 1 and in the third one second number equal to next term so second number equal to what next term so what is the next term 1 okay so now when we loop this or when we print this what happens is for int i equal to 1, i less than or equal to n plus plus 1. For the first loop, we have printed this. For the second loop, what happens? Next term will become first number plus second number, which is equal to 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So first it will print 0, then 1, and then 2, like that. It goes on. Okay. So this is how uh, to run this program what we'll do we'll just save this file and then we'll run the program run as java application so if you see here 0 0 1 0 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 5 8 so let's debug the program and understand whether <coughs> sorry so let's debug the program and see whether it is working as expected i mean we'll try to understand more so if you see the output it is working as expected but let's debug at least one to two loops and we'll understand so int n equal to 10 so first n is equal to 10 first number we have initialized to 0 second number we have initialized to 1 so first what we are printing we are printing fibonacci series till n terms so it will print fibonacci series till 10 terms 
for int i equal to 1, i less than or equal to n plus plus i. So first n will be 10, i less than or equal to 10. Now int next term equal to first number plus second number. So what is the first number? 0. Second number? 1. So 0 plus 1 equal to 1. Into next term equal to 1. So next term is displayed as 1. First number is 0. Second number is 1. And then first number equal to second number. Second number. Okay. First number equal to 1. And then second number equal to what? Next term. What is the next term? 0 plus 1 as I told you. So next term is 1. So second number will be 1. Okay. Now it comes to the next term. Uh, next loop. I will become what? 2. One second. Okay. I will become 2. 2 less than or equal to 10. True. Again it will print first number. What is the first number here? 1. So it will print. It will print number 1. Next number is what? First number plus second number. First number is 1. Second number is 1. So it will print next term as it will I mean it will store the value next term as 2. So this is the second one. So first number equal to second number. So second number is what? 1. First number is what? 1. And the next term equal to what? 2. So it will store second number equal to 2, first number equal to 1. So once I come out of this loop, second number will be 2, first number will be 1. And then finally this 2 plus 1 will be added in the next loop. And it keeps on printing till 10 terms. Okay, the main logic here is this is these three lines are the main logic. First, we will add first number and second number. We will take first number as 0, second number as 1 and we will add those and then what we will do, we will initialize second number with first number and second number with next number. So this is the logic. Hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.